sleep is so important, yet it's so easy to skimp on it. When was the aha moment for you when you realized sleep had to be a priority? Yeah, I have three kids, uh, four and under, so there are quite a few sleepless nights there, um, and I work a lot. And I really ch cherished the moments in the morning with my kids before I had to work. And I found that I was just so tired and groggy every morning and constantly thinking about how I was going to fit in a nap later in the day, which obviously is totally unrealistic. So I realized I had to find a better way to sleep, either more hours uh, and or better quality. And how can we tell if we aren't getting enough sleep, especially during the holidays? Are there specific signs we should look for? Yeah, you know, the first sign is you should wake up feeling great and ready for the day. And I think most of us wake up feeling pretty groggy and searching for that cup of coffee to try and uh, get us going. Um, the second thing is you can be irritable, not have enough patience. All these things are really signs that uh, sleep could be really something you should think about improving on. And can you tell us about Sleep Numbers' new survey? Yeah, they actually did a survey which I find fascinating. And they found that women would prefer a good night's sleep instead of a massage, a yoga class, or even a glass of wine and a nice book. So it's clearly really, really important to us. And what is the number one most relaxing, comforting gift women want this season? I think there's lot, lots of things that could be amazing, but I do think personally for myself and for the women in that survey, uh, the gift of sleep is a great thing. You can give the gift of sleep by either giving them products like you know, pillows or mattresses you can get from sleepnumber.com to help you sleep, but also personalizing your sleep environment so the bedroom becomes a sanctuary and a place you want it to be. And you can do that with candles and beautiful throws and pillows and just make it a lovely place for your loved one to be this year. So you can wrap all those things up, put them under the tree, and definitely include a little sleep voucher, maybe for a nap over the holidays, uh, and it'll make a beautiful personal gift. And are there any other gift ideas for loved ones who want to improve their sleep? Um, I mean, other, I mean, the voucher is my absolute favorite idea. Just think about what they really need, whether it's an early night or whether it's a nap on the weekend, and make a beautiful voucher out and say, you know, I'll look after the kids while you take your nap, and put that under the tree. And do you have any additional tips or information you'd like to share? Yeah, I think what we really have to think about when it comes to sleep is that you have to be able to turn off. You know, in today's world, we have the TV on, we have our iPhones and Blackberries open, we're on the iPad, um, you know, we're doing all these different things before we go to bed, and it's just really important to allow ourselves enough time before we fall asleep to relax. And you have to work that into your schedule. It's not something that's just going to happen. So keeping sleep top of mind and keeping a good sleep routine is something that's going to be really important to keep your sanity during the holidays. And where can we go for more information? You can go to sleepnumber.com and also to any one of their 400 stores. And for your fans, where can your fans go for more information on you, Rosie? They can go to rosiepope.com and find everything about me, everything that I do, uh, my blog, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. Um, you can see, obviously, I'm like addicted to social media, so <laughs> I'm probably doing that before I go to bed. Uh, but yeah, rosiepope.com is the best place to find me. Well, thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.